Checking on money matters. Who makes the most money in Florida? And don't look now, but oil prices are back up again. In fact, I went by the gas station I, yesterday. Oh. It's up 15 cents from the day like before. This roller coaster, right? So Jane King's joining us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Hey, good morning, Jane. Hey, Bruce, so oil prices soared again this week? Boy, they just really soared. The oil market is on fire again. Crude is up 13% this week. I mean, that's really an amazing gain for one week. Uh, there's a bunch of bullish factors out there that's, as you mentioned, likely to drive gas prices higher and probably already has in your case. Oil is now above $74 a barrel. Yeah. OPEC sitting there going, yeah. hey, don't they celebrate this big holiday, July 4th? Yeah, right. I mean, they had one back in May. We got <laughs> another one coming. They're well aware yeah. of all we'll, of our driving We'll holidays, bring the prices sure, back yeah. down after that. <laughs> but, but of course, that's got nothing to do with it. Yeah. Uh, Amazon making a big move into healthcare. Boy, this was a shocker. Amazon bought an online pharmacy. It's called PillPack for about a billion dollars. So that move gets Amazon into pharmaceutical sales business. It shows how it believes the e-health business is about to go even more. Walgreens lost billions in value on that news yesterday. And Rite Aid and CVS, they were all down. Walmart had an opportunity to buy PillPack not so long ago and turned it down. And now here's Amazon. Yeah, PillPack is interesting. <laughs> Basically, what they do is they take all your meds for a given day and put them in one little uh -huh. package so you don't need one of those like awkward little plastic things that keeps opening dumping That's medicine right. all over the place yeah yeah so jane chances are many more of us will have voice assistants in our home very soon yes these smart home assistants like google home amazon's alexa set to grow a thousand percent by 2023. Juniper Research says voice assistants are now the most convenient way to combine desired actions in the smart home and they're getting even smarter too. Mm. So in Florida, what are the highest paying jobs? Well, it is oral and maxofacial surgeon. A healthy $288,000 a year is what they're making in Florida. Nurse anesthetics earned more than lawyers in Florida. Now, most of the six-figure jobs required at least a four-year college degree. So another sign that as we navigate the modern job landscape and look at how expensive college is, it is still important to careers. It is. All right. So thank yeah. you very much, okay. Jane. Have a fantastic thank weekend. You.